In the heart of the ancient land of Ethiopia, a tale unfolds, a tale of betrayal, conspiracy, and a sinister plot to reshape the destiny of the Holy Land. This land, Ethiopia, is often referred to as the Holy Land, a place steeped in history and sacred traditions. But what if the very fabric of this sacred place is threatened by betrayal? The tale begins with a figure, a snake in the garden, named Abi Ahmed. Once seen as a beacon of hope, he has now revealed his true colors, orchestrating conflicts that shake the foundation of Ethiopia. The Tigray War, the Amhara Fano War, all are the crafty handiwork of the cunning Abi Ahmed. But what is his ultimate motive? As we delve deeper into the shadows, a sinister plan emerges. A plot not just about power or control, but one that reaches beyond our understanding. The Tigray War, the Amhara Fano War, all manipulated by the cunning Abi Ahmed. But what is his ultimate motive? As we delve deeper into the shadows, a sinister plan emerges. A plan masterminded by Abi Ahmed, a man once seen as a beacon of hope. But this light has been dimmed by the darkness of his actions. His grand design, it seems, is not simply about gaining power or control. No, it's something far more insidious. What we are witnessing is a chess game of monumental proportions, a game where the Holy Land itself is the board and its people the pawns. But what is the end game? What is the ultimate goal that Ahmed is striving for? The answer, my dear listeners, is as chilling as it is unthinkable. Ahmed's plan, it appears, is to usher in a new era, an era led not by the rightful leaders of the Holy Land, but by a usurper. A false messiah, a fake Christ who is yet to come. This imposter, cloaked in the guise of a saviour, would be nothing more than a puppet, dancing on the strings pulled by Ahmed himself. And what of the people, the true inheritors of the Holy Land? They would be left to suffer under the rule of this false Christ, their freedom stripped away, their voices silenced, their heritage and culture erased. All while Ahmed watches from the shadows, his sinister plan fulfilled. But who is this false Christ? What form will he take? Will he be a charismatic leader, charming and persuasive, winning the hearts of the people before revealing his true nature? Or perhaps he will be a tyrant, ruling with an iron fist, enforcing his will through fear and intimidation? We can only speculate. What we do know, however, is that Ahmed's plan is a grave threat to the Holy Land, a threat that cannot be ignored, a threat that must be exposed and opposed at every turn. For if we do nothing, if we stand by and let this happen, then we are complicit in the desecration of our sacred land. His ultimate goal is to hand over this Holy Land to a false messiah, a fake Christ who is yet to come. But we, the people, have the power to prevent this. We have the power to protect our Holy Land, to preserve our traditions, to safeguard guard our future, and that is a power we must never surrender. Who is this fake Christ, and what role does he play in this web of deception? A question that sends shivers down the spine as we delve into the impending crisis. This false Christ, a puppet in the grand scheme, is poised to take control of Ethiopia, threatening to disrupt the spiritual harmony it has nurtured for centuries. This isn't a simple change of leadership we're talking about. It's a seismic shift, a spiritual coup, if you will, that could tear apart the soul of Ethiopia. The arrival of this false Christ isn't just a threat to the political stability of the nation, it's an assault on the sacred heritage, the very essence of Ethiopia. Imagine the Holy Land, a place of profound spirituality, now on the verge of an unholy transformation. A transformation orchestrated by the very hands that were meant to protect it. The Holy Land, once a beacon of spirituality and heritage, is on the brink of a perilous transformation, orchestrated by the very hands that were meant to protect it. In this conspiracy of betrayal, Ethiopia stands at a crossroads. The choices made in the coming days could profoundly impact the destiny of the Holy Land. Will the people of Ethiopia be swayed by the snake's venomous words? Or will they rise against the darkness that seeks to consume their sacred land? This is not a tale of despair, but one of hope and resilience. The strength of the Ethiopian people is a force to be reckoned with, their spirit unwavering, their resolve unbreakable. They are the true guardians of the Holy Land, their voices echoing through the ages, resounding with the power to change their destiny. In the face of adversity, they will not falter, they will not succumb to the snake's poison. 
They will rise, they will fight, they will reclaim their holy land. The snake may have struck, but the people of Ethiopia hold the power to rewrite their destiny. The Holy Land story is far from over.